going on guys welcome back to the rant and review of pro wrestling and this is a news break we're catching up with some news from over in the world of new japan pro wrestling and two of the four what i would consider big four in new japan might be in a little bit of not hot water but there might be some problem well one of them is definitely in hot water but there are some problems with new japan just before the forbidden door is being open and uh this could have some major consequences going into the future but before we get to that i want you guys know to hit that like button the like button youtube they just love it when you click that like button it helps other people know about the channel and know about the video so i definitely appreciate it very much but let's talk about what's going on here uh the first one which is a little bit more minor than the other one the first member of the big four that's in, in question right now is Tetsuya Naito, who, as some of you may have known, you know, his body's pretty beat up, but he has eye issues and he's had eye issues for quite some time. He did have surgery on it before, but he's been reported in the Japanese press as saying that his eye injuries most recently have been coming back. He's been questioning that, you know, he hasn't been at 100% for a long time. Um, his vision is really blurry now where he says he's seeing double in the ring and this was prevalent in his matches with Okada recently. So he may have to go back and have another surgery and he says that, you know, it being best of the Super Juniors time, it's about a two week recovery period I think that he he's hoping for. Uh, so now would be the time for him to go in and have this taken care of. Uh, so you can get back into the ring, but that does come into question. We are not that far away from the Forbidden Door uh, show, but again, it is best of the Super Juniors time where the heavyweights like Naito aren't as prevalent on the cards for at least two to three weeks. So um, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this and see if there's anything else that comes out of this story with, Abu with um, uh, Tetsuya Naito having some uh, eye issues and possibly having to go back and have surgery again. So uh, that is a story that we want to continue to follow. But the more pressing story has been exploding over the last 24 hours, and that's Kota Ibushi, who has been on Twitter, and anybody who's been following Ibushi on Twitter knows that there's this big, oh my God, there's this whole whole saga with him and uh one of the new japan employee named kikuchi now kikuchi apparently uh from what i was able to dig up i think he's involved with talent relations or something he's kind of an adjoint john laurinitis from wwe kind of position and um you know also check out coco sports by the way because dave coco goes into his dave lives in japan and he uh he has some rather interesting insights about what it is like to work with some corporations in Japan. Uh, but uh, there's suspicions that Kikuchi also uh, was having some problems with the Young Bucks in the past when the Young Bucks were in New Japan over merchandise deals. Uh, so, you know, again, check out Dave on Coco Sports. He's He goes into more in-depth about some of this stuff behind the scenes. But the general story is, is that Kodobushi has issues with New Japan, severe issues with New Japan. In particular, this guy Kikuchi, who we was in a Twitter flame war with over the next, over the last uh, 24 hours. So a lot of the story has to do with abuse. Uh, lots of claims of abuse from Ibushi about what's going on in New Japan, which is not good to hear at all. Um, there's also claims that they rushed him back in December uh, after he had that shoulder injury at the finals of the G1 last year. And there are apparently were plans that Ibushi was supposed to win the New Japan Cup, but uh, that didn't happen. They announced him for the match, but then that was dropped. Um, there was lots of back and forth. It's, it's some pretty crazy stuff uh, if you read into it and do the translations on there. Uh, Meltzer had a report on this. He said that there is more than smoke to the fire. Uh, Ibushi has problems with upper management that are significant. Gato is trying to smooth them out, but it's not settled. So um, this comes at a very precarious time for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, they, of course, the last two years have not been the best for them. It's partially the pandemic. It's also partially their bad booking over the last two years and things again I, I said it after that uh new year, new year dash show 
uh, in 2020, and then they had to shut down. And ever since then, it's been, you know, they have not been the same. It's been on a downward slide. Uh, they've had their bright moments. They've had moments where they've kind of looked like they were coming back up, and then they sink back down a little bit. Then they come back up. Then they sink back down a little bit. Then they get close to being the old New Japan, and then they sink back down a little bit. Uh, they're also feeling pressure in New Japan from other companies as uh, Pro Wrestling Noah is on a come up. Uh, there's a lot more interest in DDT. From uh, I'm seeing a lot of Western fans are showing more interest in DDT these days and probably because of some of the exposure that they've been getting online lately and you also have you know what's going on over in aew uh especially when it comes to kota ibushi we all know kota uh, kenny omega wanted kota ibushi to come with him over to the states and be at aew um if ibushi's leaving new japan which apparently he they wanted to fire him and then he kind of Agreed and wanted to be fired. Now, this is funny because as, as you should never take wrestlers for the word when they say never. That's why I say you never say never in wrestling. When Ibushi decided to stay with New Japan uh, after all the guys left for AEW, he said he was never leaving New Japan. And, and here we are. So <laughs> who knows what's going on now? He hasn't left New Japan yet. Um, this is still uh, something. This is something apparently has been going on for a while. And now there's it's hit social, it's hit the public, and this this could be pretty bad. Um, I'm not gonna lie, um, things are different in Japan than they are in the states. Um, and you know, again, apparently from a lot of people I, I've talked to, um, two of my friends that live in Japan, of course, uh, and I'm not gonna talk about them because they have personal stories, but. Uh, also, again, back to Dave Coco talking about uh, some of the cultural things in Japan are not as uh, PC culture as they are over here in the States. And I've heard this from a number of people over the years. And, it, you know, my my good friends over at TV Asahi, there's some complaints about them. And now there's complaints about New Japan upper management. And we still have somebody, this Kikuchi guy who's getting the blame for this. Now, again, you have to keep in mind that you're, there's probably more to this than we know. Uh, as uh, De Melter says, there's there's more than smoke to the fire. Now, whether, now who's to blame for this? Who, who knows? Uh, on the other side, Ibushi does have a history of being kind of temperamental <laughs> and being difficult to work with. Uh, it, it was a lot of the part of the problem with him um, working for any company because he's you know he's outside of the box thinker all credit to the guy um i'm an outside of the box thinker too so i definitely appreciate the game when it comes to that but it also makes you a difficult person to work with on long term in any kind of organizational structure so that's an issue as well so who knows where this is going to go um i don't think new japan can afford a big scandal and to have one of their big four leave the company especially if he winds up going to some place like noah or if he winds up leaving and going to aew that's going to be a big damaging blow and they really don't have anybody on the call up right now who would take a bushy spot from a fan's perspective uh so you know this isn't these two stories are stories to watch uh naito's eye injury and abushi's current problems with upper management in new japan which is not good and uh abushi's the kind of guy that will probably he's not going to keep quiet he will he will come out and tell everybody, and it may change the perception of New Japan. Now, for me, you know, a lot of the problems I have with WWE is the business practices and the stuff behind the scenes and the way they do things. And from what's being said, well, again, I can't take Ibushi's word as 100%, but from what, the stuff that he's saying, I might have some problems with New Japan's uh, management as well. And it gets to the point of like, geez, you know, what, what company... What, what company can you feel like is decent enough to follow? So this is, it, it's, it's a big conflict for me. But again, you were doing he said, she says right now. So I can't take any of this to heart. I, if I was you, I wouldn't take any of it to heart. Uh, but usually, as people say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And even Melter saying that there's more to the fire. So um, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll keep following these stories and hopefully uh naito can get better well and uh, get better soon and uh that it, you know his health is of the utmost importance but this does mean that 
this uh, Forbidden Door card might not be what we. <laughs> It, the card might it might be we might be another situation with the Madison Square Garden show where we're expecting to see certain people on the show and then oh wait they're not with the company anymore and I'm I'm kind of starting to I'm worrying a little bit that the Forbidden Door show we're going to expect to see Naito we're going to expect to see Ibushi and we're going to get Taguchi and Master Wado so uh <laughs> I don't know. This is this is not looking good right now. But again, we'll continue to follow this. If you have any questions about this or have any comments or any thoughts on it, be sure to let your voice be heard in the comment box below. Uh, and again, hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. And be sure to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, wherever you talk about New Japan, Japanese wrestling, Twitter drama, and anything else related to the sport of pro wrestling. I'll see you guys soon for more news, rumors, and commentary right here on the Rant and Review Pro Wrestling. Have a good day.